Hello everybody. Welcome back to part 2 of lecture 1. In this uh, part I am going to focus on 8051 microcontroller. So, we are going to focus on 8051 microcontroller and as you are aware this is what we are going to use it in our course and this complete package is available in one integrated circuit okay so this is called as a microcontroller we will have a cpu as i told and we will have a memory of course uh, it's uh, not a rom it's a kind of uh, eprom okay or we call it as a flash okay flash memory and we have a ram uh, very few bytes but still it's more powerful and it's uh, it's more than enough for our normal applications okay and we will have some input and output lines io lines which is called as a ports okay and we'll just show you further like what are the pinout details and the, uh, the architecture details of 8051 You can see this is actually a 8 bit CPU that means that at the same time this CPU can process 8 bit addition subtraction and things like that and we have option for 64 kilobyte of data memory and the program memory that means together it's a 64 kilobyte is a maximum and if you want to have a you know access to on chip program memory yes uh, 4 kilobyte on chip is there and also we have 8 kilobyte version uh, there are different versions as there the program memory it's up to us to choose and the 8 kilobyte is a version with 8051 and uh, sorry uh, the 4 kilobyte is with 8051 8 kilobyte is with 8052 like that okay and we have here 128 bytes of ram so we have a flash and we have a ram okay and this controller is uh, capable of handling a lot of uh, you know single bit logic a kind of boolean operation like and or uh, things like that okay and also we have 32 bits of bi-directional io lines that means you can configure as an input line or as an output line okay so there are two timers which is used for some essential counting and timing purpose and also we have a full fledged uart it's a kind of uh, serial communication you know uh, uh, hardware universal asynchronous receiver and transmitter so we have a serial communication capability also in 8051 microcontroller and we have five source of you know interrupt of course there are five interrupt vector location and including reset is uh, six and this microcontroller can operate from 0 hertz to maximum of 24 kilohertz as a our clock that means our frequency okay that means as you are aware um, every digital circuit need a clock signal for its operation and especially when it comes to the computer like when we have our laptops we say like um, so and so brand with the so and so frequency like 1 gigahertz 2 gigahertz 3 gigahertz like that whereas the microcontrollers are capable of you know working in a very low frequency only it can there are some controllers with higher frequency but to start with that we deal with this only and you can see this from 0 hertz to 24 megahertz of course 0 hertz there will be no job will take place whereas when you feed the clock only the operation will start okay and you can see 8051 we have a different variant there are small 8051 and we have a standard 8051 which has about 40 pins and there are extended 8051 which is used in a specific uh, industrial applications and all okay so the small variant also will introduce in this course and also the standard variant which we will be using uh, right away now okay As I mentioned, the CPU, we have accumulators, you can see it's a two accumulators of 8-bit, 
is called as a a and b uh, most of the instructions are deal with a and a few instructions are dealing with the a and b for example multiplication and this thing all it, it we use both a a and b okay um in our course we are going to use uh, c programming language so we may not be exactly using these accumulators when we are developing our program and there is a register called data pointer which we need to aware because even in a c language some time we may need to access data pointer some for some critical applications and we have a stack pointer and program counter as like other computers and of course the stack works based on the last in first out concept if you want to save some uh, data temporarily we can use a stack memory area and the address will be pointed out by the stack pointer the program counter is going to hold a 16 bit address okay uh, which is going to tell what is what supposed to be the instruction fetched for next operation like when the cpu is doing the instruction from zeroth location let us assume the program counter will point out like number 1 the next instruction to be fetched from the location called 1 okay that's the purpose of program counter and you can see this is actually the 8051 microcontroller we have total 40 number of pins and pin number 20 and pin number 40 is for the power supply okay these two are essential and we need to connect the crystal that means the clock signal in these two pins so the whatever crystal you connect that is going to be the operating speed of the microcontroller okay apart from that we have here 1 2 3 4 port okay so this four is called as a port and total we have 32 io lines okay so it is possible to configure as a input or output is up to us okay so once you connect a crystal and you give a power of course the microcontroller will start fetching the instructions from the program memory and it will start executing the instructions that means we should develop our program then we have to place it inside the program memory okay so i will show you maybe in upcoming slides like how to develop the program and how to uh, store the instructions into the memory if you want to uh, process the internal data we have to keep this particular pin okay so there is a external access pin so this pin has to be tied up with one because when i say here external access it is trying to take out Uh, take the instructions from external memory if you want to use internal operation we have to tie up this pin with a, a vcc that means we have to feed a 5 volt here and you can see the pin out detail without any highlighting as i told this is a pins which we have to take care and the one more pin which i left to explain about the reset okay so whenever we switch on the computer we have to start from the well known uh, place so we will be connecting some external hardware here a kind of a simple rc circuit to put this 8051 microcontroller into a reset mode okay that means startup mode let us say startup place is a block diagram just we will have a uh, two portions for the better clarity view as i told there is a two port in this one and the remaining two port is coming up in next slide and uh, we have a uh, you know like a register b and uh, accumulator like register a and as you noticed here there is a ram and there is a eprom and there is also like the port latches and we also have some sfr is called as a special function registers okay so we'll talk about this one in our upcoming uh, videos and you can see here port 1 and port 
and we have the program counter and things like that here and whatever we connect here the crystal okay so that is going to activate the oscillator unit and going to feed the clock signal for the entire cpu okay so timing and control circuit will held the responsibility for this particular process